What's up guys, on today's video, I am proud to tell you that as of today, May 19th, 2022, I will be the first person on YouTube to showcase this light and make a video for you, so it's really an honor. I thank PowerTac for hooking me up. So today's video is about the PowerTac Destroyer 10K, 10K, Gen 2. It's a mouthful. PowerTac Destroyer 10K Gen 2. Gen 1 is an amazing light. 10,500 lumens. 10,500 lumens. Now these searchlights, these lights are for, not for the everyday person. These are searchlights. Uh, sure, an enthusiast can have this light, but police departments, uh, paramedics, search and rescue teams, SWAT teams, things like that. Um, someone who dedicated needs this light. This one is the Gen 2, and like I said, I am the first person to date that will showcase this light. So it's really an honor. But if you use my affiliate link down below in the comment, in the uh, description below, you will save a ton of money. You'll be able to get this, this light for a, pretty much a hundred bucks off, so it's an awesome deal. Full disclosure, I do make a little bit on every purchase, so you could save some money. And uh, you could also help out the 570 experience. So it's a win-win for everybody. And uh, PowerTac supports me. And I'd like you to support them because they are really awesome flashlights. So what you have here is a big giant case for this light. And I'm going to open it. There you have it. As a huge hawk just flies by. It was actually pretty majestic and cool. So this light... Aside from the obvious of it being large, um, it's rather heavy for a light. So the light itself comes with a carry strap, and of course you got the charging cable here. Warranty information, uh, O-rings, uh, little tiny, uh, it comes with like uh, stickers, a little bit of swag, uh, product registry, because um, you gotta remember that all of PowerTac lights are guaranteed 100% hassle-free they call it from tail to tip so I like that phrase tail to tip basically bumper to bumper it's a no hassle 100% guarantee for life so that's really really important it's not something you have to purchase above and beyond the light so we're gonna talk about this light for a little bit you can if you want you can fast forward to the end I'm actually going to compare this light to some other lights um, I'm also going to do that right now, um, just so you can kind of grasp um, the sheer size of this thing. So we're going to set that over there. Um, this is uh, what I would declare as the best everyday carry light. This is the M5 Gen 2. This is one of their brand new lights, over 2,000 lumens, and it's just an awesome, awesome flashlight. Keep in your pocket. Um, it's super, super bright. And again, tail to tip, lifetime warranty, no hassle. So... That is a standard light everybody is familiar with. Now, one of my personal favorites, the Warrior G4 FL, um, is slightly larger, and a lot of people, um, because of the larger bezel, it does promote 4,200 lumens. Um, because of the larger bezel here on the end, some people just don't appreciate it uh, for what it is and, and feel like it's not an everyday carry kind of flashlight just because uh, it's not as easy to get in your pocket. Me, personally, I still stick it in my pocket. It's on my duty belt. I love this light. So there you go, that's a little bit larger. And I'm going to set these back here. So you can see them. There we go. And then this is one uh, that they, again, hooked me up with, uh, the Huntsman XLT. A little bit larger. I do have the, uh, the cord wrapped around the handle here. The Huntsman XLT is a spotlight, a handheld spotlight, that shoots a beam for 1,000 meters. So 1,200 lumens thousand meters reach out there and really touch someone I keep it next to the back door for when I'm taking the dog out you know um, whether he's running around the yard at night or on his cable at night I can kind of stand on the deck and, and shine this wherever I want and doesn't matter where he goes I can see him shine it on everything uh, we live in the country here so we got a lot of animals uh, bear deer bobcats you know foxes uh, had to deal with a porcupine the other day so we got a lot of critters uh, this light really comes in handy and the fact that it shoots a thousand meters is just really amazing. So if you didn't know, that's over a half a mile. 
So we're gonna set that here just for size comparison. Because as you see, um, it's pretty much almost the, the wingspan of my fingertips here. And then you have the destroyer. <laughs> so it's a large light, needless to say. So the Gen 2 here has 9,500 lumens. But what they did change here is the um, reflectors and the way this light produces light and the bezel here. So the original uh, Powertech Destroyer is 10,500 lumens and it will shoot a flood style beam and that's also a searchlight. It'll shoot a flood style beam 650 meters roughly. Uh, without looking up the specs, it's, it's about there. You could uh, go on Powertech's website and look it up. 650 meters, which is which is a crazy ridiculous amount for a searchlight um, to be able to put out that much light in that much of an area. This will shoot a beam 1,400 meters. 1,400 meters. That's almost a mile. <laughs> it's, it's so hard to say that without you know making a smirk or, or kind of making a face, just because it's a ridiculous amount. I'm not even sure you can. Uh, you know, see that far in, in one shot, especially around here, without something breaking it up. Um, so I, I have some demonstration videos at the end of this. You can certainly check those out because this is an amazing light. But it's really hard to capture the potential of this light here in my backyard. So I have uh, two more or three more videos planned for this light, and I'm going to be taking it to uh, a better location where you can kind of see and I can showcase the real capabilities of this light. So, uh, pretty much all these lights have a single LED. This one's kind of, the reflector here is what they call orange peeled to kind of, you know, break up the light and make it more of a flood style. And then with spotlights, super shiny polished reflectors, if you could see that there. And then again, uh, single LED. With this one, you have these, uh, even though it's polished, these, these reflectors um, swirl the light, mix it up. So these outside ones are your floodlight, and then the middle one focuses the beam, and that's where you get your extra long distance of 1,400 meters. 9,500 looms. If, if you guys don't understand what 9,500 looms looks like, this is the <laughs> this is the middle of the day. It's a really nice day out here, and this light is still able to drown out the camera. Um, it's super crazy. So on on the on the body of the light here. Um, now when this light comes brand new, when you get it, you have to unscrew it, and there's a uh, little piece of paper that's uh, blocking the um, battery from connecting to the rest of the light. So once you take that piece of paper out, your light will work fine. Um, so if in the beginning when you get this light, it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> read the instructions if you forget, but simply unscrew this. There's a little tiny disc in there, uh, breaking the connection, um, basically so that the battery doesn't slowly drain over time. So you remove that. Now, a couple things you're going to notice immediately is aggressive knurling. All of this is textured pretty much like as aggressive as the uh, Warrior G4 FL or the Huntsman. Completely opposite of the M5 G2. But the knurling on here is aggressive um, for grip. You're not going to drop this thing, other than it being heavy, especially if you have it on the lanyard. You can operate this thing with gloves. You can you can hold it in your hand, whether it's wet or you have something uh, like a grease or some sort of slippery substance on your, your hand. You're not going to drop this light. The selector switch here, if you could see that, has a couple different modes. There's an arrow here on the bottom. It's got a high mode, a medium mode, a low mode SOS because a lot of people love the SOS feature on all these lights and then a strobe so that right there in itself is is a setting where you can kind of leave it and that light will be in that setting whenever you need it so if you want to leave it in strobe you want to leave it in SOS or you just want to leave it in high because we all love you know just the full power of these lights you can just leave it there and every time you go to press this button it will work on that mode so the activate activator button is right here. This light has two different rings. One's here at the top. And if you could see right there. And right there. 
these rings completely rotate and this allows you to connect the strap. Another thing you're also going to notice is just above uh, the insignia here on what it is, Destroyer Gen 2. It's going to talk about um, how much power this thing has and produces. So 7.2 volts, 13.6 amp hours. Now the second part of that, the 13.6 amp hours, you know, what does that mean? What is that for? So on the bottom of this light and your indicator here, this indicator here is showing you, if you could see, how much charge is left on this light. So the charger plug will go in the end right here. And this will blink and tell you when it's fully charged and all that. But what's nice about this light is it has a power out adapter. Let's see if we can show it here. A power out adapter for a USB. So you can charge your cell phone, mobile device, um, you know, in an emergency, an air compressor, things like that. There's all sorts of gadgets that nowadays use a USB style plug, whether there's a type C on the other end or a mini USB, doesn't matter. This will power that device. You can charge a cell phone from empty to full eight times with this thing. Eight, eight times. Now, if you're using a light, obviously that, that will go down at, over time, but that's, that's pretty impressive. It's really neat. So another thing when you flip the light up here, uh, this will tail stand. And it will also stand on the bezel, obviously, if you want to store it like that. Um, with the, the bezel, um, it's a little wider at the base, so it'll have less of a tendency to uh, flip over. So up here, you can see as I angle the camera so you can see through here, these are all cooling fins. This flashlight, uh, see if you can see it here, right around here, there we go, you can kind of see it go through. You can see all the way through there, there's cooling fans in there. This is why I prefer PowerTac over a lot of different companies. There's some companies that promote some really intense, really high lumen rates. But 99% of those are basically chasing lumens the entire time that flashlight is on. And what's that mean, chasing lumens? The lights themselves will shine that bright usually for between 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, especially like the Imolent uh, MS-18, the 100,000 lumens that it produces is 30 seconds at best. As soon as you turn it on, you'll hear an exuberant, exuberant amount of noise coming from the light because these massive fans have to constantly try to keep this cool, keep that cool. And then as soon as it reaches a certain temperature, it's, it does what's called step down. And then it steps down the brightness to a, an acceptable level uh, where it'll stay, you know, for the, you know, immediate future until you shut the light off and let it cool. Power tax lights don't do that. Not only the technology that's in here with the cooling fins and the built-in fans, the components in here and the way it's connected, the technology that's built inside here never chases lumens. So the advertised lumens and the advertised amount of time that they advertise it'll stay on for is what you get. There's, there's no curtain. There's no uh, hiding anything. They're not going to advertise a certain lumens and then you're going to find out that it steps down later. So, you know, they're up front and that's what I appreciate about this company. You get what they advertise. And again, lifetime, tail to tip, no hassle, 100% warranty on all these lights. So, there's a whole bunch to talk about with this light. I showed you a comparison. I talked about everything from the case to the strap and uh, the features of this light. So now we're gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you some of the differences between all these lights. I did some testing where I did the M5 at 2000 lumens, the Warrior G4 FL at 4200 lumens, the Huntsman XT, XT XLT, which is, uh, like I said, a handheld spotlight. And you'll see the difference in the beam. Um, that's 1200 lumens, but that will shoot a thousand meters. Um, I did some comparison testing to this light. Again, 9,500 lumens. It's got a combination um, style output with this bezel. It'll produce that light up to a distance of 1,400 meters. Insane. So the combination is, is, like I said, a combination of flood and spotlight. You get an intense, amazing amount of light in a huge area. Really, really efficient. And I could see why special teams would use this light for search and rescue and, and more of a professional thing. But don't let that stop you. There, 
just like knife people, there's enthusiasts um, that are crazy for their flashlights. So this is, is definitely one you want to have in your collection. I'm proud to have it. Again, you know, as of today, I'm proud to be the first one to showcase it on YouTube. So it's really neat. I got a video coming up of all my current PowerTac flashlights. Um, maybe, you know, PowerTac will hook, hook me up more in the future and uh, I'll get my collection up to... I would like every PowerTac flashlight. So let's work on that PowerTac. Hook, hook your boy up. So enough of me talking, this video is already getting long, but this video is exp to explain everything about the destroyer here. And uh, now I'm going to showcase the light. I got videos uh, planned for um, in a couple days. Um, that'll be shorter and kind of just, you know, allow this light to, uh, you know, astonish you and show the capabilities of this light. So enjoy that footage. Warrior G4 FL, 4200 lumens. Huntsman XLT, 1200 lumens. Destroyer. X10K, Gen 2, 9500 lumens, 1400 meter throw. It's really hard to appreciate this light. This is only about 75 yards roughly. This light is like holding the power of the sun in your hand. Warrior G4. Huntsman XLT. Destroyer, Gen 2. Warrior, G4. Huntsman, XLT. Destroyer, Gen 2. Training, M5 G2. Raining Warrior G4 FL. Raining Huntsman XLT. Raining Destroyer G2.
Dark and dingy road. M5 G2. Warrior G4. Huntsman XLT. Destroyer, G2. Alright guys, so that is the Powertech Destroyer. This is the new Gen 2. It is 9500 lumens. Uh, the model number is the X10K. Leave a comment in the comment description if uh, you're interested in one of these lights or you've always looked at these lights uh, I'm interested to hear your comments and what you think um, like I said this light isn't for everyone it's a uh, more uh, derived towards like uh, search and rescue teams fire departments uh, even a police department uh, like a canine handler team when they're searching for subjects things like that uh, a flashlight enthusiast certainly could purchase this light but this light isn't going to fit in your pocket it's a rather large light so um, I'm going to be doing more videos in the future on this light probably on all my lights as far as a collection of power tag lights so stay tuned for that but in the meantime my affiliate link to power tag is in the description below full disclosure I do uh, make a little bit off of every purchase so support power tag support the 570 experience because uh, they support me and uh, they're just awesome flashlights so if you're in the market you want a really great flashlight it really doesn't matter your profession uh, these are high quality really bright long lasting no hassle guarantee 100 percent warranted for life with all these power tech lights so that should make you feel at ease it's awesome awesome experience so this is josh from the 570 and we'll see you next time